Hi guys! Today I have a review and kind of an unboxing because I just got this in the mail the yesterday. Is my Starlux February box and the Star box, and this is the Lauren Clark Special Edition box, and it is purple and pink, and everything inside of this box is purple and pink, including the tissue paper. And there's nothing in the box. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be like, ah, but including the tissue paper. So. Um, this is what it comes with these little papers in it and I'm guessing that's Lauren Clark right there and it shows you different looks you can do with all of these things and it shows different uses for all of them and all of that type of stuff so that's pretty cool you get this other paper that shows February and paper all that has all it. of their info on it and yeah so I'm just going to get right into it. I have all the stuff out of the boxes already because I've been playing with it on my hands. So I'm going to tell you guys what I think. Okay. So the first thing is this cream gel, gel liner. And this is in Princess Diaries. And it has the little logo. And that's what it looks like. And I have it swatched on my hand. I don't know if you can see it. It is right over here. It is this baby pink gel liner. And it says that it's waterproof and smudge proof eyeliner that creates a perfect um, line. It does create a perfect line. And it is, like, for the most part, it does seem like it is really creamy and lasts on about waterproof because it's just on my hands. But I don't think I would use this as a liner because it's a little bit light as I drop it. It's a little bit light. I would probably use it more so as an eyeshadow base. But it is really, really, really creamy. You can see. And it looks like it would make a really awesome eyeshadow base. And then next is the um, HD Fluid Blush. And when I first opened this, I was like, what is this? Is this a lip tar? Because it is like... It literally is Barbie pink, and that's actually what it is called, is Barbie. And I love cream blushes lately. I've been in love, I don't know, I just like the way they look, and it comes with a little applicator like that. And I have it swatched on my hand right here. This is it in full concentration, that craziness right there. And then right beside it is it um, pretty much sheared out. So, it feels really nice. Um, I've would probably use my stippling brush, put it on my hand, and work it into my cheeks, because it does seem like it is really, really pigmented. It says it's supposed to give, give a spring glow, and once you shear it out and use very little of this, probably because it is very concentrated, it would give that, like, glowy finish that a cream blush does do. So, this looks pretty awesome. Um, and the next thing, when I opened it, I was just like, you are so pretty. <laughs> it was just like, gorgeous and that's what it looks like it's this lavender color with like silver glitter and that is it right there by itself and that is it on top of um I actually have it over here on top of um the Revlon Just Spit and Kissable Lip Balm in Darling I was playing around with it and I actually put it on my lips I took it off for this video because it didn't really match my eye look so yeah this is really pigmented. What is it? It doesn't really have a smell, so if you're sensitive to smells, you would probably like this lip gloss. Um, it is not sticky. I like it personally. Um, I don't really know. I would probably wear it with pinks, though I don't wear pinks that often, but since I like wearing like pinkish purple lavender lips, this would probably be really awesome for that. And this next thing, when I... This is... um. Uh, lip liner and certain people were sent this because I review um, the box but I did pay for this box I did this is the first month that I paid for this box it's $15 and I'm so happy with the stuff that I got um, but this is the one thing that I got that was a bonus and it's this lip liner in tipsy and it is like crazy neon that's it right there. That's the lip gloss because I was trying to see what it looked like on top of it, but I don't really like it. Um, look at that. It is like crazy freaking neon corally pink. Um, it reminds me of the Nicki Minaj lipstick from MAC. So that's pretty awesome. 
and um, where did the little crystal thing go? Every box comes with a crystal, and I took mine out to show you guys, and I put it down, and I don't know where I put it, but every box comes with a crystal. Um, so yeah, that's everything inside the box. I'm really happy with it. Um, like I said, I paid for it this month, and here is the crystal. Every box comes with a little crystal. It's cute. I have a, like a little thing where I've been collecting all the little crystals. But um, yeah, this is the first month that I've actually paid for. I got three sent to me that I didn't pay for. And then I decided I was going to subscribe to it and keep getting them. So in return, I get one product a month to review just for you guys. So this was that one. And um, a full, complete review is going to be on my blog with swatches and everything like that. The swatch fest will be on my blog. Um... But yeah, I wanted to do a little bit different because normally I'll play with the stuff for a little while and then do a video and my video is kind of the same as my blog. But I want to do kind of an open box with you and just show you guys everything as I'm playing with it because I started playing with it and tell you guys what I think of it. Um, right now, as playing with everything, my favorite product is the lip liner and the blush because the lip liner is so bright. It is so pigmented. It is just amazing and I can't wait to try it out. And the blush is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I feel like if you do it right, it'd be pretty awesome. Um, I'm probably going to use this as an eyeshadow base. I'm not really sure. Check my blog for the review so you can see what I like if, if I really ended up liking this, if it is waterproof. And this, I am just so excited to pair with different colors and see what this does to other colors. So yeah. Um, this is my unboxing first impressions of the Starlux box, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!